On the 508th day of the war in Ukraine, the fighting was concentrated in these areas. During the last 24 hours, heavy battles have taken place in the direction of Premivka Ledge, where Ukrainian forces broke through the Russian defenses near Staromayorsk. As reported today by sources from both sides, Ukrainian forces launched a fast and powerful attack on Russian positions northwest of Staromayorsk. In the early hours of the morning, some Russian sources reported that Ukrainian forces had already taken control of the town. However, a few hours later, other Russian sources reported that the assault units of the 35th Marine Brigade of the Ukrainian Army had penetrated their positions in the heights northwest of Starmayorsk, but the town remained under their control. As it appears on this video published by Ukrainian sources, the Ukrainian armored units launched a quick and powerful attack from Makarivka towards the heights northwest of Staromayorsk and managed to take control over the most of the area. After that, another group of the Ukrainian forces, supported by artillery fire, managed to enter Staromayorsk from the north where fierce clashes between Russian and Ukrainian forces were reported. According to Russians, Ukrainian forces were also using cluster munition during this offensive. The general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine reported that several counterattacks of the Russian forces in the areas north of Staromayorsk were stopped. According to Russian sources, if their forces completely lose control of the heights, it would be very difficult to maintain their positions in Staromayorsk and Urozhaine, since these settlements are about 60 meters lower than the western heights. In Bakhmut front, fighting continues in several areas north and south of the city. In the northern part of the front, an advance of Ukrainian forces were reported today in the area south of Rozdolivka. According to Ukrainian sources, now their troops are located only 3 kilometers away from the northern outskirts of Soledar. Further south, fighting continues along the berkivka yahidne line. Several sources, mainly Russian, reported that the Russian forces carried out a successful counterattack and managed to regain control of the southern part of Berkivka, in which Ukrainian troops had been present for a few weeks. In the southernmost part of the front, in the direction of Klishivka, other advances of the Ukrainian army were reported today. Ukrainian sources said that their forces have managed to penetrate the heights northwest of Klishivka and that fighting took place in the first buildings north of the village. However, there are still no signs of solid control as the fighting between Russian and Ukrainian forces continues in this direction. A little further to the south, the advance of the Ukrainian forces west of Andrivka has been more significant. As suggested by some geolocated videos, the assault units of the 3rd Assault Brigade of the Ukrainian Army continue offensive actions in these areas. It is also reported that the Ukrainian Army has cleared the entire territory east of the Siversky Donbass Canal. In Kupiansk front, official Ukrainian sources reported that the Russian forces have gained ground during the last two days and that their forces are on the defensive. It is still not known precisely in which areas and how much the Russian advance has been, but some Russian sources reported that it is most likely in the areas around Sinkivka, in the forest to the north and northwest of the village. We are waiting for more information to come from this part of the front to make the correct changes to the map. In the southern front, this morning, Russian and Western sources reported about a drone attack carried out by the Ukrainian army against several Russian targets in the city of Sevastopol in Crimea. As reported by official Russian sources, the drone attack was not successful as none of the Russian targets suffered any damage and at least nine naval and air drones of the Ukrainian forces were shot down by the Russian defense. That's all for today's video. Please don't forget to help the channel grow by liking the video and subscribing and also for those who want to support the channel, you can visit my Patreon page. Thank you.